Hello guys, welcome to day 5, uh, it's January 5th, and uh, today I am in a little cove area. Uh, I was like, where do I want to do this? Um, so yesterday I had mentioned that, you know, one day a week or whenever, I don't want it, to, I want it to be organic whenever I talk about stuff like this. Um, I'd like to do discussions that are a little... A little interesting to talk about on camera and uh, to sort of open up about uh, especially in a therapeutic way for me personally that's the whole point of me doing this not just you know you know, showing you guys around um, the more purpose of this kind of stuff so uh, I guess the first one uh, I had the idea of this topic because um, I was just doing a lot of self-reflecting the past few days, um, the, towards the end of last year and the beginning of this year, I've been doing some, some self-reflecting on some things, and uh, this is kind of one that I was thinking about. Um, and from like the title of the video, or from what I think I'm gonna title it is, Did YouTube Kill My Social Life? Um, so, in 2008, I started YouTube. I was 12 years old. Um, 12. That was a long. That was 10 years ago. 10 years ago, I decided to do YouTube, and I don't. I can't remember if I'm honest, like why I started it. But I went ahead and did it. Um, I was. I seemed to be at that age, like just a really creative person with like, or a kid with like so many ideas. Um, I was censored a lot uh, in what I wanted to do, mainly because when I started out, I was doing like a lot of um, sketches. I was watching like uh, Shane Dawson and stuff, so I was doing a lot of creative sketches like that. Um, but they weren't always the most appropriate. There, you know, a lot of profanity and stuff like that. And obviously, um, my parents didn't like that. They didn't like the whole. A 12 year old middle schooler you know screaming fuck and stuff like that so that's understandable um so I did a lot of those sketches and then I sort of like censored them out and did something called like Jimmy John's which is not the sub sandwich place I think that's before I even knew what that was I came up with Jimmy John and uh that was like a funny little thing uh so I kind of did that and it sort of came more involved whenever I found like the Lego YouTube community and then I started I made a Lego channel separately from this channel uh, that I started out on and uh, became really involved and um, just sort of I remember I'd done a lot of like anniversary videos on my Lego channel that I've talked about this in you know greater length um, so I've already kind of spouted that out on the internet but um, the truth of it is it was it was a fun outlet. I mean, I never became so involved where I shut myself out from the real world. Well, that came in like 2011, but let's let's slowly get there. So, I did a lot of um just videos. I don't remember it taking up too much time. Um but what kind of happened was when I started to sort of seal myself off from the real People call it like IRL, I don't know, um, interactions was um, whenever I started meeting people online, uh, like different friends or different people, kids and stuff, um, p kids my age at the time. Um, so that's when it kind of started. S you know, when you have an outlet like, um, like the YouTube where you don't necessarily you have these passions that you can't really share with maybe your next door neighbor or you know kids from school um because you know they're just each person is so individual in what they like and so whenever you know the internet makes it available where you can find a lot of different people that like the same stuff so I met a lot of friends, um, became very involved, spent a lot of time on the computer, a lot. Um, too much, maybe. I don't know. But I noticed as time went by on that, um, as time went by, 
I slowly started losing any sort of interaction with anyone in like in real life. Uh, so this is where the question is, did it kill it? And I don't, I don't, I, yeah. I decided, I, I don't know if I like lost the ability to have friends or what, but I just noticed, I noticed all the time that, I mean, I have, I had friends in high school and stuff. But I've talked about this. I think I've talked about this before on the, the Lego Anniversary channel videos. Um, but it felt like no matter what I did, I always, you know, you have the group of friends, but no matter what I did, I feel like I still was always outside of the circle. I mean, I tried. I tried to be nice. I didn't try too hard, you know. You know, I was just, I was so confused on why... You know, these people were having such a good time, and it's, it's not, I'm not trying to be petty or anything, but, you know, these people had no interest in me. They had no interest in hanging out. They had no interest in anything about me. I mean, they could, it felt like they couldn't give two shits about me, like, all throughout high school, like, even to my senior year. My senior year got... I can't say it got a little better. I think it got, I think junior year was the best. And then senior year, you know, just, it was again. But that was sort of like the actual social interactions. But, you know, on the internet, I've met a lot of great friends that are my best friends uh, now. So, you know, does that, it doesn't really matter uh, in that perspective. But there's still a part of you, at least I think, and people might agree, people might disagree with what I'm saying, that, you know, there's a part of you that wants to be physically around people. I have amazing friends that live in North Carolina, Virginia. That's pretty much it. Um, you know, other places too. But, you know, it's always been so hard is having these people that you care about so much and you know you can't do simple things like go out to lunch or see a movie with them and you know there's some sort of void there I think and it's hard it does a lot especially for me being someone that's um, cares so much about people that are in my life maybe too much like throughout my entire even meeting all these people on through youtube or i played like a lot of minecraft too that you know i had a huge minecraft server great kids and stuff um cared about them so much and you care a lot about these people and, you know, you feel trapped, I guess. And slowly, over the years, it's... I think it really messed me up a bit. In the regards of uh, wanting attention, um, lashing out, doing stupid things for attention. And then, you, you know, I realize doing things uh, to myself or things to get that attention, whether it be like spouting out on Twitter or other things, you know, you look back and you feel really embarrassed. And, um, sorry, I just burped a little bit. <laughs> um, but it's, it was hard. It still is. You know, as I start growing older, I'm beginning to realize, or I don't know if I'm beginning to realize or just manipulating myself into thinking that maybe, maybe it's okay. Maybe sometimes these people that you think you're your friends, you know, they grow up too. 
they have their own journeys and maybe it's okay to let go and you can't beat yourself down by trying to hold on to them or you can't beat yourself up for feeling left out on certain things you know because there's always that feeling deep down where it's like is it something I did or is it just they have no interest in me anymore and that's where it's hard because I never lose that in people no one ever I mean I anyone from that I've known in the past 22 years that would love to call me up I would definitely answer and talk to them and pick up where we left off kind of a thing and I just I don't know if it's mentally destroying me that you know maybe people just don't think that way maybe maybe some people maybe some people let go of me and we're okay that I was left behind sorry I'm just I'm thinking about a lot of people right now a lot of people that are up there above me I have a picture above me with all my friends like I said that I don't get to see that often and I keep that picture up there I don't you know it's kiddish maybe to have pictures of your friends on the wall but Sometimes after, because I work a lot, and, you know, you work a lot, you come home, and you're just alone because you're just physically tired. And I keep that picture up there because, you know, I love those guys because the moments that I get to be with them or talk to them or any sort of interaction reminds me that, you know, I'm not alone, at least for those moments, and that's why I live up those moments all the time, even right now, like every person I'm with that I, that out of whatever coincidence is in my life, I try to use every second that I have to just enjoy, and I guess that's where I'm at now, where I'm at the point where it's okay for me to say goodbye um you know i also i catch myself i'm like i'm having good experiences with people and then in the back of my mind i'm like you know it's not gonna last you know the, you know there's gonna be the day where they're gonna say goodbye or there's not gonna be any goodbye at all just done and it's scary it's scary to think that way but i don't think that's the point of the human experience I think you have your time with people, you learn from it, you grow from it, and it's your decision on when you're going to give up on allowing that person to be on the journey with you, I guess. And that's where I'm at. I mean, I have... I'm, I'm a little broken right now. Just a little bit. You know, I look in the mirror and I think it just, the mirror cracks. And I don't want the mirror to shatter, but it's cracked. So, you know, I'm working on a lot of stuff. There's a lot of different topics I want to talk about, and this is one of them. And that's just, you know, whole friendship. And then the fact that YouTube, maybe I spent, I know I kind of derailed from the whole question, but let's kind of go back to that a little bit. I don't want to make this video too long. But did it kill it? did it sorry my computer just turned off and like it made it very quiet in here I don't know did it kill my social life did I become too involved in YouTube and the internet and becoming way too socially or mentally involved with these people that you know are all gone now or whatever that is still messing me up right now I just that's just me and I know I said yes earlier but now that I'm talking about it, you know, I think it's, where would I be at if I didn't do that? Where would I be if I didn't do YouTube? Would I have exceeded or excelled in other places? I wouldn't be sitting down here, maybe. 
Maybe I'd be in an apartment or college, university, somewhere out of state, I don't know. Uh, but what happened, happened. And what is, is with these people, all people in my life, and I'm here. Uh, I will always be here. Maybe not particularly here, but I will always be here for you, no matter what. And um, I guess that's where I'm at. <laughs> so if I didn't have a YouTube, would I have friends? I don't want to say it like that. But I hope some of you guys can relate to that, the whole sort of thing where what direction you chose in sort of like your social interactions with people and how it, how it mentally um, helped or didn't. And for me, I think it did because it gives me, it allowed me to meet some of the greatest people ever. Some people that I love. It has, I have, you know, best friends. I have like a second family that I love so much. I love them so much. And then you think about like, if I didn't do that, I wouldn't know them. I wouldn't know these amazing people. And then you decide it was definitely worth it because I don't want to think about a life where I don't know these people. Where would I be? Would I be dead? Would I have shot myself in the head over depression? I don't know. Uh, the depression that I was helped by, by some other stuff, but we'll talk about that another day. Uh, I won't give into that. that. That'll make this video half an hour long and I want to do that. But, um, yeah. I guess that's where I'm at right now. Um, I did it to myself. I get too emotionally involved in people, and it really sometimes backfires, but it's worth it. I think it is. And um, so, yeah, I hope you guys got something out of this. I think it was, it was nice to talk about it. It was nice to get that out there on how I honestly feel about my decision to sort of maybe take a step back from the traditional way of hanging out with people and uh, versus uh, the norm or whatever. So I guess now people just watch YouTube. Kids just watch tablets and watch people do stuff. I don't know. Um, I guess that's the norm now, but, you know, things change, things evolve or devolve. I don't know, however you want to see it, so... Uh, so I guess I'm going to sign off. That was enough emotional stress for me for today. Um, it's definitely going to be a fun video to watch back on and sort of see on some things that I'm thinking about right now in my head um, about some people and some situations and sort of watching this and what I said and how I applied it and to see if it helped or didn't and see where I'm at. So future me... Um, I hope you're okay. I know you're broken. I know you look in the mirror and you see cracks of glass, but I hope I hope you fix it. I hope that mirror didn't shatter. Um, so yeah, thank you everyone. I'm gonna sign off. I'm gonna eat the rest of my Sonic that I bought. That was $12 because the guy misheard me and I said I wanted mozzarella sticks instead of tater tots, but he gave me both and charged me for both. And I was like, whatever. But, yeah, that's how I'm going to end this emotional video is talking about food. <laughs> so, anyways, until tomorrow, guys. Bye.